Ever wondered about the quirky, shocking, and tear-jerking facts behind the movie set at the Seattle World's Fair? This 1963 film packs more than just entertainment. With plenty of funny, surprising, and touching moments, the TV movie promises a roller coaster of emotions. Did you know that Elvis Presley, the lead actor, performed many of his own stunts in it? Or that one of the young actresses, Vicky Till, had to stand on a box for her scenes because she was too short? These lesser-known tidbits add layers of fascination. But beyond the trivia, the film holds moments that linger long after the credits roll. Is there a particular scene that stuck with you? Maybe it's the monorail sequence or a heartfelt exchange between characters. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your perspective adds richness to it. Keep watching for more interesting insights and don't forget to share your own. It happened at the World's Fair created a buzz when it came out in 1963. The movie starred Elvis Presley, who was already a big name. It wasn't just another Elvis movie. It had a unique story set at the 1962 Seattle World's Fair. The film follows Mike Edwards, played by Elvis, as he deals with romantic and funny situations while trying to make enough money to get his airplane back. During its release, the movie got a lot of attention and people liked it. Elvis's charm and music performances made it even more appealing, adding to his status as a cultural icon. The film's setting at the World's Fair also gave it a colorful backdrop that captured people's imaginations. It happened that the World's Fair stayed in people's minds even after it came out. It led to things like soundtrack albums with Elvis's songs from the movie. Also, fans loved buying posters and other things related to the film. The movie's impact lasted through adaptations and mentions in later works. Its portrayal of the excitement and energy of the World's Fair continued to connect with people, keeping its memory alive in the history of movies. It Happened at the World's Fair is a movie from 1963. This film, set at the World's Fair, features a storyline involving a pilot played by Elvis Presley. In the movie, he becomes involved with a young girl and her uncle. Throughout the film, viewers experience a mix of drama, romance, and comedy. During the filming of 3,000 Miles to Graceland in Vancouver, Elvis Presley, the lead actor in It Happened at the World's Fair, took the opportunity to visit the nearby set of Stargate SG-1. He met the cast and crew, as he previously starred as Colonel Jack O'Neill in the original Stargate movie. This role was later portrayed by Richard Dean Anderson in the spin-off series. Additionally, the presence of Lee Van Cleef on the set of Escape from New York inspired Elvis Presley to speak in a raspy voice similar to Clint Eastwood's character from the Man with No Name trilogy. In summary, It Happened at the World's Fair is a 1963 film starring Elvis Presley, featuring a storyline set at the World's Fair with elements of drama, romance, and comedy. Elvis Presley's experiences during the filming of other projects, such as 3,000 Miles to Graceland and Escape from New York, influenced aspects of his performance in the movie. It Happened at the World's Fair is a movie from 1963 with Elvis Presley. Kurt Russell, who later acted as Presley in different movies, was also in this one. In a scene, Elvis asks Russell, who was a kid then, to kick him in the leg and pays him 25 cents for it. This scene was copied in another movie called 3,000 Miles to Graceland. Elvis Presley, famous for his house Graceland in Memphis, has made it the second most popular private tourist spot in the United States after the White House. Graceland brings in about $150 million for Memphis every year. Besides singing, Elvis had a pet chimpanzee named Scatter. This interesting fact about his personal life adds more to what people know about him. Overall, it happened that the World's Fair gives us a peek into Elvis Presley's career and has Kurt Russell in a role people remember. The movie, along with Graceland's popularity, continues to interest audiences today. In 1970, he visited President Richard Nixon at the White House, seeking to become a federal agent at large in the Bureau of Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs. The meeting stemmed from a six-page letter he wrote to Nixon. His character Snake Plissken, known from Escape from New York, is set to star in a comic book series called The Snake Plissken Chronicles, scheduled for release in 2003 by the Crossgen imprint Code 6 Comics. His final performance was at home on August 15, 1977, where he sang Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain to family and friends while playing the piano. It Happened at the World's Fair is a 1963 movie featuring a storyline revolving around a pilot played by the lead actor who becomes involved in a romantic relationship 
while at the Seattle World's Fair. The film garnered attention not only for its plot, but also for some interesting facts related to its cast and crew. One notable aspect is that the lead actor played three years of minor league baseball from 1971 to 1973. Despite a decent batting average of 292, he only managed to hit two home runs during his professional baseball career. Interestingly, among the numerous impersonators of the lead actor, his personal favorite was Andy Kaufman. In addition to the movie's impact, the lead actor was honored for his contributions to British music culture. On Thursday, November 11, 2004, he was inducted into the UK Music Hall of Fame, recognizing his outstanding contribution to British music. These details add layers to the narrative of it happened at the World's Fair, showcasing the diverse talents and interests of those involved in its creation. Elvis Presley, the well-known American singer and actor, went to Sunset High School in Dallas, Texas. His dad, Bing Russell, was a baseball player and actor famous for being a deputy sheriff on Bonanza for six years. This shows Elvis came from a family connected to both sports and entertainment. Even though Elvis didn't get the role, he was considered for a part in a movie called Next of Kin in 1989, which eventually went to Patrick Swayze. This shows that people saw potential in Elvis as an actor. In the movie It Happened at the World's Fair from 1963, Elvis played a character named Mike Edwards, who was a pilot. The story takes place during the Seattle World's Fair and follows Mike's adventures, including a romance subplot and interactions with a young girl. The movie combines elements of adventure and romance, giving viewers a look into aviation and the fair. Overall, Elvis Presley's role in It Happened at the World's Fair adds to his career, showing he wasn't just a musician, but also a capable actor. The movie highlights his talent and charm, adding to his fame as an entertainer. In 1963, It Happened at the World's Fair featured Elvis Presley. Robbie Williams honored him with the song Advertising Space. Elvis admired Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, but never met him, maybe because his manager worried about upsetting his Southern fans. He, Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash, and Carl Perkins formed the Million Dollar Quartet, making big waves with Sun Records. Both he and King passed away in Memphis, Tennessee, leaving behind lasting impacts. This text was, It Happened at the World's Fair is a movie from 1963. The film starred Elvis Presley, who was a prominent figure in the music industry. Elvis is known for his hit song Heartbreak Hotel, which dominated the charts in 1956. Additionally, he made a guest appearance in the Star Trek second pilot episode in 1966. Elvis also had an interesting connection to Clark Gable as he inherited Gable's dressing room at MGM Studios after Gable's passing. Elvis's presence in various entertainment spheres highlights his versatility and enduring popularity.